If you remember back to lecture 6, we used partial sums to reduce contention for a global sum variable, which had been a hindrance to performance of the ocean application. A similar technique works for barriers. We use intermediate nodes so that all threads don't have to spin on a single can-go variable. The actual threads are down here in the leaf level of the tree. The nodes above them represent variables that the threads spin on. Each thread spins on its immediate parent, which constitutes an intermediate barrier. Once all the threads arrive at this barrier, one of the threads goes on and spins at the variable of its immediate parent. This is repeated until the root is reached. The root then releases all threads by setting a flag, which may be propagated down to the leaf nodes. How does this improve performance? Recall that when we first started to discuss barriers, we said that in really large networks, software wouldn't suffice to implement barriers. Propagation delay alone, not just accesses to shared variables, becomes a drag on performance. So IBM's BlueGene L system includes a hardware barrier network to serve this function. Each level does a global AND of the signals from the level immediately below it. This global AND is done with combinational logic so that signals propagate virtually instantaneously to the top of the combining tree. When the global AND becomes 1, that tells you that all the nodes below have reached the barrier. The tree can also be used to do a global interrupt. In this case, we care about whether any of the nodes below has an urgent problem that requires stopping the whole machine. In this case, the same network is used to do a global OR. The round trip latency is only 1.5 microseconds for a system of 64K nodes.